China appears to be the first country to place a electromagnetic rail gun on a ship. The weapon was spotted on an old Chinese Navy landing craft in Wuhan and images of it quickly spread across the internet. If this is true, then China has placed a real rail gun on a warship before the US Navy, which has been testing its own rail gun on land for years. Electromagnetic rail guns are an entirely new type of weapon system that use electricity and magnetism instead of the energy of a gunpowder explosion. Rail guns use electricity to generate very strong electromagnetic fields between two rails. A conductive metal device, called an armature, picks up a projectile and accelerates down the path between the rails, slinging the projectile downrange. Images of the Yachting-class amphibious ship Haiyangshan with a large gun turret-like object appeared on social media. The ship, which is a 390-foot tank landing ship designed to carry up to 10 tanks or 500 tons of cargo, has a wide cargo deck area that is currently is crowded with shipping, containers and equipment. Mounted on the bow of Haiyangshan is what clearly looks like a gun turret with a large stepped barrel. Railguns are extremely complex instruments that require immense amounts of power. Bay Systems and the U.S. Navy have been working on railgun technology at the Naval Surface Warfare Center, Dahlgren Division, and fired their first shots in 2012. The land-based American system can accelerate a 23-pound metal projectile to 4,500 miles an hour, and the Navy's goal is an effective range of more than 100 miles. To achieve this feat, the railgun requires 25 megawatts of power per shot, enough to power 19,000 homes. Railguns have the potential to revolutionize warfare. Faster than missiles and longer range than conventional guns, railguns could shoot enemy airplanes, anti-ship missiles, and ballistic missiles out of the sky, skewer enemy warships, and bombard targets on land. China is thought to have been working on a railgun system for years but nobody outside of the intelligence community knew the extent of progress Beijing has made. Even with these photos we still know very little, is this the first railgun, or the tenth? Assuming this is China's first railgun, it could be argued that mounting it on a ship steals a march on the US Navy. We don't know if China is ahead of America in the railgun game, but one thing is for sure, America's lead in railgun tech is not as far forward as everyone thought it was.